Hello there everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here and welcome to another Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now today <clears throat> I'm just going to talk a little bit about being ill and makeup lessons. I don't, it's the season isn't it at this time of year that lots and lots of our pupils are, are sniffly, um, some of them are worse than sniffly. I've already had one cancellation this week and there could well yet be more. And the question comes, well what do you do? Um, about a makeup lesson for them. Well, I have a policy, I have it in my contract, and if you remember last week I was talking about the importance of contracts, and although you can't obviously just create a contract today, um, you can start to think about it so that you are more in place with things for the beginning of your next academic year. So if I have a pupil who uh, is ill, so for example in here, um, I tell everybody, and this is my this is my contract, that everybody has to tick and sign. The ticking is important for me because it means that they've got to have read it, and I will actually go through it with them. So um, everything that I believe about illness, about missed lessons, etc., is in the contract, and I deliver 34. I'm committed to delivering 34 lessons in a year. However, I teach 37 lessons, okay? So if they come to every single lesson, then they actually get three lessons for free. Not very many people do, though, I have to say. So um, it, it gives some leeway, though, that I have already in my timetable, in my calendar, three weeks where they can catch up for any lessons. If a student is ill and cancels uh, 24 hours at least in advance, I will do my utmost to make up my lesson at a time that is convenient for both of us. And that's really important for both of us. Um, you know, we will certainly try and find another time. If that's not possible, then they will just have to lose that lesson and come along in the makeup week if they possibly can. I also have a policy that if a child is too ill, if, he, if a child is brought to a lesson and I deem them to be too ill to continue with the lesson, which has happened in the past, then I will stop the lesson and I will actually send them home and hopefully mum and dad are just waiting outside. Because it's not fair on any of us, is it? If the child isn't well, it's a waste of money and it's also um, a waste of everybody's time. And also, I don't want to catch their colds, to be absolutely honest about this. So I really do discourage them from coming if they've got a cold and I will send them home if at all necessary. And I can see lots of people are coming in to say hello. So I'm just coming over to see who's there. Hello, hello, Laura. And I can see other people are watching as well. So hello, everybody. Lovely to see you there. Um, and I'm sure just like me, you're just coming in just before you start to teach. I'm about teaching about 50 minutes or so. So I thought I'd just leap in and, uh, and talk a little bit more about contracts and being ill and makeup lessons. So I will make up lessons if the child is ill and if they've given some notice before coming. Now, we will always get parents, won't we, who will want to have make up lessons um, just because they've forgotten a trip or something like that. And I think you have to be really quite firm about that. And um, the be one of the best things to do is if a parent comes along and says, oh, you know, we missed last week's lesson because there was a trip to the theatre that I'd forgotten to tell you about, Sally. Can we make, can we have a makeup lesson? Then I think the best thing to do is to reflect that back to them. Oh, so you'd like a, a makeup lesson um, because of the trip to the theatre. Well, let's just have a look at the timetable and look at these make three catch-up weeks. This is what I can say, you see. That's going to be your best bet to actually come into one of those because I just don't have time in my schedule to reorganise it otherwise. Um, and also I think one of the other things to do is if they do insist then actually take time to sit down and have a coffee with them. So invite them to come at another point rather than trying to discuss things on the hoof as the next pupil comes in and that pupil goes out you know emotions can run a bit high you're feeling a bit oh, oh, your hair is all over the place you know your head is all over the place I should say not your hair your head is all over the place and um, you don't know whether you're coming and going and that's the point where we can let our emotions get the better of us stay professional stay businesslike and just say just come around for a coffee and let's just discuss the situation and we'll go through the contract again just so that we make sure that we're all understanding exactly what piano lessons are and what they entail.
So I'm just going to go over and have another look at all these people. Hello there, everybody. So I can see Jenny's there. Hi, Jenny. And Carla's there. And Chris. Hi, Chris. Lovely. And Kate's there as well. So thank you all for popping in and uh, and saying and watching and saying hello. Um, really do think about your contracts. If you haven't got them already in place, start to give it some thought. Start to think about the responses that you will give when parents request makeup lessons. Because if you have something there already that you practice saying, then it's going to come out an awful lot easier and take the emotion out of the whole uh, occasion as well. Wherever you are in the world, have a lovely afternoon, happy teaching and see you next week. Bye for now.